everybody. Welcome to our first intro to advanced math video of the semester. Uh, today we're going to talk about arguments. Uh, before we can, oh, by the way, an argument is a, a logical expression that uh, is at the very heart of doing proofs. Uh, before we can talk about arguments, we have to review something called a tautology. Uh, remember, a tautology is a statement that is true for all combinations of truth values of the simple statements of which the original statement is comprised. So a statement is a tautology if we take every combination of truth values of the simple statements which make it up, and we get nothing but truth. It's going to be true for every combination of truth values of the individual statements that make it up. And this is an example of a tautology. P or Q, or not P and not Q. We do the truth values for P and Q, and the truth values for not P and not Q. What about the statement P or Q? It's an OR statement, so the special case is what? The special case is an OR statement is only false when both of the individual statements that make it up are false. Every other time it's true. Okay, now let's look at this guy. Uh, not P and not Q. This is an AND statement. What's the special case for an AND statement? The special case is an AND statement is true exactly when all of the simple statements that make it up are true. Not P is true. Not Q is true. So in this case, not P and not Q is true. Then we take this overall statement that I claim is a tautology. P or Q or not P and not Q. This is essentially an or statement. So the special case is this is going to be false exactly when each of these statements is false. Well, let's see. Is it ever the case that P or Q and not P and not Q are false simultaneously? Nope. When P or Q is false, I'm sorry, when P or Q is true, not P and not Q is false. Uh, when P or Q is false, not P and not Q is true. So these two statements are never false simultaneously. Uh, therefore, the truth values for this or statement are always true. This, therefore, is a tautology. No matter what combination of truth values we have for P and Q, this statement is true. Okay, we might as well mention the definition of a contradiction. A contradiction is a statement that is false for all possible combinations of false for all combinations of the truth values. Of the statement. Contradiction is always false, regardless of the combination of truth values of the statements which make it up. And we're going to look at this example again 
Actually, I changed it just a little bit. In the previous example, this was an or right here. Uh, now I'm making it an and. Uh, I've done all the truth values for P and Q, not P, not Q. The truth values for P or Q, this is an or statement. The only time it's false is when P and Q are both false. Check. Not P and not Q, this is an and statement. The only time it's true is when both of the statements that make it up, not P and not Q, are true. So this is the only time it's true. And so we're taking the and in these two statements, P or Q and, not P and not Q, it's an and statement. What's the special case? It's true exactly when both of these statements are true. Oh, but does that happen? Are P or Q and not P and not Q ever simultaneously true? Not here, not here, not here, not oh, you know what? This statement is false for all possible combinations of the truth values that make it up. So this statement is a contradiction. Okay, let's define argument. An argument is a statement of the form P1 and P2 and dot 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 and P sub n implies Q, where Q is called the conclusion. Each of the P sub i's, P sub 1, P sub 2, and so forth, each of the P sub i's is called a premise. Now, I'm not really sure what the plural of premise is. It may be premi or whatever. Uh, I'll just use premises. Here we have the conjunction of the premises. So an argument is a statement of the form. Conjunction of the premises implies the conclusion. argument is said to be valid exactly when the argument is a topology. Now what does that mean? The argument is valid exactly when the argument is true for all combinations of some truth values of the premise. So regardless of the combinations of truth values of this thing, the argument is always true. Okay, let's see if we can look at some examples of arguments and distinguish the valid arguments from the invalid arguments. Oh, by the way, I should say this. The argument is not valid, then it is said to be invalid. Okay, let's look at this as an example of an argument. If I exercise, then I will get strong. That's my first premise. If I get strong, then I will be a good athlete. That's my second premise. My third premise is I exercise. My conclusion, therefore, I will be a good athlete. Now, I've used P and Q. So when I analyze my premises, 
are going to use something other than DNA here. I exercise, let's call the states I exercise R. So this is R. And I will get strong, that's S. If I get strong, that's S, then I will be a good athlete, that's T. By the way, I will get strong, that's S. So we have S implies T. And the third premise is I exercise, which is just R. My conclusion Therefore, I will be a good athlete. Well, I will be a good athlete is also statement T. So T is my conclusion. So what I have, I have T1. Form R implies S. T2, my second premise, S implies T. T3 is just R. And my conclusion, Q, is T. Let me make up a truth table and see if this is, in fact, a tautology. we have R, which is also T3. We have S, we have T, which is also my conclusion True, 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 false, 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 false. Okay. Let's look at P1. That's R implies S. This is an if then. The special case is we can't have a true implying a false. A true implies a false is false. So let's see. Here we got falses here. And that's it. Everywhere else they're true. Okay. Let's look at my second premise now. T2. S implies This again is an if then, and it's false exactly when we have true implying a false, like right here. And true implying a false right here. Every other time it's true. Okay. 
Okay, what do I need to do now? I have P1, I have P2, and P3 is R. So I have all of the truth values for my premises. And my argument is of the form P1 and P2 and P3 imply the conclusion. Okay. P1 and P2 and P3, this is an AND. And an AND is true when they're all true. Let's see, P2 is false here. Uh, they're all true here, P3, P1, P2. Uh, P1 is false here and here. And P3 is false here and here. This is the only time when all three are true, everything else is false. So I have the conjunction of the premises. And now what I need is conjunction of the premises. implies the conclusion of T or Q. And let's see. This is an if then. The only time it can be false is if we have a true implying a false. Is P1 and P2 and P3 well, P1, P2, and P3 is true. This is the only time it is. What is Q? Q is true in this case. And for every other case, the conjunction of the premises is false, which means we have false implies true for everything else. So, what does that mean? Our, org our argument is a tautology. Therefore, it is valid. Sorry for the rush job. I just found out that somebody else is going to use this room in a couple of minutes.